But what it did was now put me in this place where I'm like, I don't want to hide it my next job. I would love to just move how I move and have it be part of it because maybe it'll add something to the story. It doesn't have to be about it. My whole life is not about MS. Why can't she be a normal person who happens to have MS who is convicted of murder? That's right. That's right. I mean, that's People with MS can be assholes too. Oh, you could you can murder. That's right. I yeah. actually would love to play a really complicated, like not I nice say I'd love person. To murder. Well, yeah, why not? Never done that. <laughs> actually, no, I did in Big Sky. Um, but yeah, I think that in the past couple of years, I'm like letting it go, accepting. Yeah, because you know, accepting the shame it. thing could be twofold. It could also be part of you going. Hey, I just really don't want to be recognized right now, which is, you know, in general, people wear a hat or they're just kind of like, you know, sometimes I'm at the airport and not that I get mobbed, but sometimes yeah. I'm just like tired. I just wear a hat and sunglasses and just not and just disappear. So that's like, you know, I'm having a tough time. I, you know, I'm in a wheelchair. I'm tired. I, I don't want to. I just don't want to fucking deal with it. Yeah. So, you know, maybe it's not all shame. Like, you know, I can't do these things. And but, I, you know. It's not even about being famous. I, I, I it's, no, no. It's like well, I, I, mean. I don't know. I'm just being honest. You know, it's because I, I, in my meeting other people that live with MS and chronic illness, and you know what? In general, I just feel like the more that I am being more honest with myself about my feelings and talking about these things, like sometimes you think the more specific you get the more like distant it's going to be, then people aren't going to understand. But I'm finding like the more specific I get, the more universal it actually is. And like everybody's, everybody's got something. I live with my shame and my shit out. You see it. And I, that's where I'm grateful for it because it's really opened me up. It, I can't hide from it. People ask me about it. And then we have to have, I had the most beautiful exchange with a TSA guy the other day. Really? Yeah. Where I was getting the wheelchair through security and he was like, Meadow. And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, what's going on? And I'm like, oh, I, I have MS. This, you know, makes my life easier through the airport, this and that. And then we just started talking and he said to me, he's like, you know, I really appreciate you opening up to me right now. He's like, having nothing to do with what you've done and what you do, like, you're a really beautiful person. Like, And I, w- and I just started crying. I'm like, thank mm. you for seeing me. But without this, I don't know if we would have had that conversation. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I feel like it's cracked me open. I see what you're saying. In a way. Yeah. And I think I try not to find, like, a spiritual meaning in everything in life because I think sometimes that can like make it overwhelming, life overwhelming. Sometimes things just happen. But I do think that bigger things happen in our lives as catalysts for us to really grow. And I think that maybe there would have been something else, but without MS in my life, I don't I don't know where I'd be. Wow. I would like a life without it though. Sure. I would at do, this point. Do you talk to, well, first of all, do you have any friends or family who just get really emotional all the time when you're around? My mom. She, no matter what, if you're having trouble walking, she's she loses Hysterical. it. Hysterical. And what do you say, mom? What do you say? It's okay. It's okay. Do you ever cry with her? Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes I try not to. I try not to. Yeah. 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 It's mainly with her. What about with other people who are dealing with MS? Yeah. Are you an advocate? Like, are you talking to people? Or are you? Are you? Christine uh, Applegate's a really good friend of mine. Yeah. I was just with her this morning. She, you know, we have this like beautiful exchange we talk about where she, she feels like I'm her, like her light, but yeah. I also have have experience. But she also gives me permission to be like, this fucking sucks, because she's not afraid to say that. And, and when I was she diagnosed? A couple of years ago. Right. And, yeah. and she ha- has she had it for a while or is it something that she's only had it for? I'm not just sure. I think it just it like there were symptoms that were coming on and, you know, she she figured it out fairly quickly from what I understand. Yeah. And she's sort of like, hey, what what's going to happen? What go, what happens first? What's the initial like? Did she ask you a lot of questions? Like we that? do. Yeah, we had an initial conversation, but like I'm not an I, I live with it. And I'm not an expert. It affects all of us very differently. But I think what it helps is just to have somebody that understand 